to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Taro Noble Phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Though it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. You and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's Law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall set us all unto the Zerg. yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones. 
and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Eldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. All seems lost now, but still we must fight on. We must find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Without him, I fear there is no way to defeat the Zerg and their Overmind. Zeratul and his Dark Templar have vanished, leaving us to fend for ourselves. I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Rayner's command ship. This is Rayner. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. Thank you. 
Sounds fun. This is Jimmy. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. Anytime you're ready. Oh yeah. Right on. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. Oh yeah. Right on. This should be good. Oh yeah. Rainer here. Right on. Sounds fun. Not enough minerals. 
Salute. Make peace with our doom. Stay thy hand, adjudicator. The stewards of Tassadar shall not fall while the Dark Templar live. Call off your guards and stand aside. And you may yet live to see another moon rise. I will not be addressed so by one so devoid of the Kala's light. You and your vile brethren shall die with these traitors. Are you truly so blinded by your vaunted religion that you cannot see the fall ahead of you? Your conclave believes that they are winning this war, but all they have succeeded in doing is helping the Overmind to win. What could you possibly know about our designs, Blasphemer? You speak of knowledge, Judicator. You speak of experience. I have journeyed through the darkness between the most distant stars. I have beheld the births of negative sounds and borne witness to the entropy of entire realities. Unto my experience, Alderus, all that you have built here on Iora is but a fleeting dream. A dream from which your precious conclave shall awaken, finding themselves drowned in a greater nightmare. We shall see.